season's been crazy in terms of 20-point comebacks. There's been 29 games this That's year where a team has come back from 20-point comebacks. Damn. Uh, I, I saw a stat the other day in 0506 that only happened five times. So this year's like kind of the most ever in terms of 20-point comebacks. What what would you what would you attribute that to? Why do you think the comebacks are happening so much this season with 20 points? The fight. The fight. Usually when you have teams that get blown out. Majority of your team had no fight. When you see teams that's coming back from 20, coming down from 15, coming down from 10, that's fight. That's show. That's that's the fight in the team. That's your leader talking. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody hit or get blown out by no 20. You just practice three, four days to come in here and then you. No, that's not that's not the mindset. So you know when you see teams coming back, it's because somewhere in that in that team's DNA, they their leaders or the the ones that really you know because everybody care. But man, your leaders be on another level when it comes to winning and losing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I when I see stuff like that, that means that not only is that team together, but that team has another level of fighting them. I think I think the reason we're seeing so many comebacks, it's a combination of things, too. High <clears> pace too. High pace. Up yeah, and down. The pace is is, is better. It's greater. Right. That's so another. The, the scoring is up. So when you're no down defense. twenty, right? So when you're down twenty with all these, you can get saying, back in the game in fact, two minutes. Fact. Uh, like you make two or three threes. If you're down twenty, you make two or three threes. You right back in. You down twelve. Get a couple stops, get to the free throw line with the, oh, yeah. with, the, with the with the lack of defense, with the pace of the game. Mm. If you can say, listen, let's get three stops. If you score on them three stops, you you never yeah. out of the game. Right. With you know the game being so high like, pace, like, we, we played on teams where we might get ten stops in a row. Right. That ain't happening no more. Right. <laughs> that ain't. We might shut you out the last three minutes. Right. That ain't happening no that more. That would destroy a team. Yeah, like now, with the pace and play, and the way the skill shooters is, yeah. you could come back. Right. That's so, a good point. That's a great point. You know, point. I mean, we're going to see a lot of, it's going to be a lot of records broken. It's got to be your fight, too, though. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have them players to be able to do that. You know, when you see Golden State come back and Stephen Clay in that little zone, uh, they're, they're in that little, you know, any team, any team. You can, you can pull out all the weapons of any team. You got to have that fight of wanting to come back, not just giving in. You know what I'm saying? That's a great point, though, Pete. Yeah. One big comeback you guys had that comes to mind is, is Orlando. Um, and then you gave that famous speech, KG, the bar fight. Do you, do you guys remember that game? Yeah. It was down, how much it was down? Hey, you were down like thir around 30, I believe. But it was down 30? I'm going to be honest, yo. Damn, when, you play seven. Certain, when you play certain teams and we you know that they got a certain, they got a certain uh, characteristic about them, a lot of them, a lot of them teams, man, it may look like how it, how it looks from the fan perspective watching the game, but we as players, we know certain players will give in. We know certain players ain't that. We know certain players. Right. And that's what you really playing to. When we played Orlando, man, they was a tough team. They had a real deep team, but they also, we also believe that they didn't believe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all having a good night tonight. It's going in. But you know what? As soon as y'all soon as, soon as y'all start getting some misses, you start seeing that doubt. And then here comes the talking. And the talking actually takes the doubt to like a thousand. Because now, if I say, yeah, put it in your left hand, I'm gonna take that. And you actually switch up and go to your right hand, turn your back. Like this is. It's all game and shit, but when you coming back, you are not only fighting, because it's harder to come back from when you're on the road, because you're, you're tooth and nail, but you are all out, everybody into it, nobody in that whole, everybody that's on the team that's coming back is in it. If you got 25 people on the road with you, with the equipment managers, the, the weightlifters, the who give you Gatorade, everybody's in the security, everybody's in the huddle, straight up. And when you come back, it's fouls, some ref ain't calling, some ref letting go, that's why I said it was a bar fight, because we fought through calls. We fought through just coming back. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's as simple as this. Bad teams always find ways Fact. to lose. Fact. That's a saying in the league, actually. They always find ways yeah. to lose. It was a 27-point deficit. Just yeah. looked it up. And you guys won by eight points in that game. We Fact. had a game where we were down two, five seconds to go, they in the bonus and their ball, and we won. Because it was a bad team. And what y'all don't know. <laughs> well, listen, listen to what I said. We down to their ball, they're in the bonus, with five seconds to go. And we won in regulation. So they throw it in, turnover, ball go up in the air, three, ran out of there. Bad teams, that's bad teams finding ways to lose. And what you got to know, man, is that we practiced that situations a thousand times. So we know situations. We knew how to think. We knew we'd be Doc put us in those situations. Man, we would go to practice and we were in practice with game ending situations. And we got tired of it and bored and he switched it up. You okay, you're down seven now with, with 10 minutes. How you gonna come? So in them situations, when you are 
built for it and you've been geared up to be prepared for those moments, bro, it's almost, it's almost like bang bang. You, you're not even thinking. You're more reacting like, oh, yeah, we did this. Remember when we, okay, they don't yeah, know right. it, the other team, you know. So we had plays and we were actually built for that. I can say that.